What's up you guys, JC Wardrop here and in this video I'm going to share with you guys five simple hacks, tips, whatever you want to call them that I've used and I've kind of developed over the last couple of years in my business to be able to go through and make over $150,000 a month pretty consistently while working just 30 hours or even sometimes less than that each week. Now let's just break this down really quick and talk about kind of the end goal of like why, why I'm even sharing this with you guys um, and that's because when I was growing up I had a relative, I actually had an uncle, who he was a, a complete workaholic. He worked all the time, he made really, really good money, but the thing is, is he was never with his family, he was never on family vacations, he was never around, and so it, it, like, it really didn't really mean anything that he was making so much money, right? So I always saw that as a kid and growing up, and I was like, hey, I wanna be able to be successful, I wanna be able to make some good money, however, I want to be able to be there, I want to be present for my family, I want to have a fun time, I want to be able to enjoy my life. And so I've gone through and obviously I've learned a lot of these hacks from different mentors of mine and I'll kind of like uh, credit each person that I've learned these different things from. And I've just developed a little system over the last couple of years of going through and building my business that's worked extremely well for me. And you're able to cut out just a lot of the crap in your life of, you know, it's kind of like the mindset is you, you work a typical 40 hour work week, right? Or if you're an entrepreneur, you have to work 80 to 100 hours a week because it's just so much harder, there's so much stuff going on. Well guys, actually like that might be the case for a little bit, but when you get these five tips, these five core principles down, you can actually cut out a lot of just the garbage, the mumbo jumbo, the stuff that really doesn't matter and simplify your life while making more money and for focusing on the core things in your business that are gonna actually scale up your business and actually make you the most money. So before we dive into this guys, if you guys want kind of my a look at my daily chart of like my daily activities of what I do from what time I wake up to the time I go to bed and everything I do in between, just kind of broken down, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below and I'll share that with you guys because you'd probably be surprised. Like I'm able to get a lot done in a very short amount of time and I focus on just a few core things every single day and a few core things every single week and that's pretty much how my whole business is run. All right guys, so let's start out with number one, okay? Number one of five and that is going through and batching your time. Now, one thing that I did probably four or five years ago when I was completely unsuccessful and I didn't really have anything going on um, is I would go through and I would check my email like every 30 minutes and I would just keep that email tab open and then it, like the new notification would come up and I go check it and the same thing with Facebook notification to get the little like three or in the red circle up in the top right hand corner or something like that and I go check like all the new notifications I check everything that's going on and what I realized is I was wasting so much time now I learned this from this technique from two of my mentors one was Tim Ferriss in the four hour work week he talks a lot about batching your time Right, so like instead of checking your email every hour or every 30 minutes, because um, if, if you ever heard of the term task switching, okay, so you're focused on one thing and then you got to go and focus on a completely different idea or activity, it actually takes a lot of brain power and a lot of energy to be focusing on one thing and to get distracted and focus on something else. Right, so what he talks about is checking your email just one or two times per day. Now I had another mentor who he would go through and he would check his email just one time per day and he was a bit of a workaholic but he would check it at just 2 a.m. every single morning. So he'd go work the whole day and then once he was done working at 2 a.m. he'd go through, check his email and that was just the one time because look, guys, sometimes like I Monday morning, I'll typically get to my email and I'll have over 150 unread emails. But a lot of that is just kind of like spam marketing messages or just stuff that like I don't really need to go through and be seen every single instant as soon as they come in and so I'm able to go through and clear through that in about 15 to 20 minutes by just batching my time. So with that said, I want you to kind of take back, uh, take a step back and look at the other things, not just email or even Facebook messages, Facebook notifications, different things like that, but what else in your life do you kind of like check and just jump into without re really any reason, right? You just jump in there and it just wastes a lot of time and take a step back, write those things down on a piece of paper and then get a schedule where you're maybe only checking them just one time per day or one time per week and just eliminate a lot of that wasted time that you might be spending during your work week. All right guys, so number two, this one is huge. This one is probably the number one biggest key factor to success 
and that is um, completely zoning out and so what I mean by that is when you're gonna go in and you're gonna work go and put your air your phone on airplane mode exit out of slack if you guys have slack for your business for like the little messaging notifications exit out of Gmail exit out of Facebook exit out of everything and if you're working on something online for example I work on a lot of stuff online is all gonna make it full screen and I just completely zone out nobody can get a hold of me okay and if there's somebody like my wife if I know she might be like texting me or messaging me or something like that and might be worried if I don't respond I just tell her right before you know hey I'm going under that's why I tell her I'm like hey I'm going under just to let you know I'll be I'll be under for the next couple of hours okay and with that I'm able to get so much done because like I was talking about the task switching of focusing on one thing and then jumping to another thing I don't have any of that task switching right like I go in I get so much stuff done and a lot of times I can get as much done in three to four hours as most people do in two to three days just because I'm a hundred percent focused I work at home hundred percent by myself there so there's no distractions there's nothing else going on and so if I eliminate all those outside distractions it just makes everything so much easier and another thing I do with this is a lot of times I'm a I'm an early morning person lots of people are you know you might be a night owl but I'll get up typically around 5 30 in the morning and sometimes I'll go straight to the gym just because I like to get you know work out first thing in the morning but a lot of times I'm not really like you know my body's not fully up yet and so I'm just like you know what instead I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start working and so a lot of times I'll be working from like 5 30 to 8 30 and I have no distractions no one else on my team is up or working or doing anything and nobody else as far as customer service is reaching out yet and so I'm able to get so much done in those first three hours of the day so from 5 30 to 8 30 I can get more done in that amount of time as most people can get done in an entire day so by the time I'm starting my day I, I've already got so much quality content done um, so much just quality work done and out the door so just going through and completely zoning out that is a key number two right there all right guys so number three this actually kind of goes along the lines with number two of completely zoning out and that's making sure you plan your day every single day before it happens and plan your week every single week before it happens so every Sunday night um, th this is funny because when my wife and I were dating I called her and I, I don't know why I said this I'm a total idiot but I called her up one day to ask her out on a date and I was just like hey I'm just planning my week like a total nerd right I was like I'm just planning my week and I want to see if you're available on Thursday and I, I can't remember exactly what I said but she still makes fun of me to this day and it, it's a total nerd thing to do but um, I every single week like for the last I don't even know how many years probably like 10 years I plan every single week Sunday night and so I can kind of like you know see what's going on I see all my appointments everything that I've got scheduled and then I just write down the top like 10 things that I want to do and then the two to three like most important things that like I need to go through and make happen okay so then by the end of the week I can look back at that week and see okay did I get everything done or um, what did I not get done why did I not get it done and at the end of every single day before you shut off at the end of the day and, and just like you know go hang out with your family or friends or whatever you're doing go through write down everything you need to do the next day write down the most important things that you need to go through and make happen that next day so as soon as you wake up in the morning as soon as you jump into work you don't have to spend any time thinking about like what am I doing like what do I really need to do you've already got that list down and you're able to just go boom 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 and so when you go through and you zone out for three to four hours you're not spending like 30 minutes to an hour wondering what you're gonna do but you're able just to jump to things and get it done super quick now I learned this one from a mentor of mine who is now passed on his name's Earl Nightingale so I would listen to his he's got a little audio program called lead the field and I used to listen to that every single day in the car um, driving to school back in college and I I've more, most recently been like listening to it again just because it's so good I highly recommend if you guys have not heard of that Earl Nightingale lead the field it's super good and he talks about how way back in the day some big business owner paid twenty five thousand dollars for um, the specific technique of going through and writing down the most important thing you need to do to accomplish the next day to push your business forward okay and and that that single idea he paid his consultant whoever he was working with at the time twenty five thousand dollars which 
Back at that time, I mean, that was like 100 years ago in his example because Earl Nightingale's long gone. Uh, I mean, that was probably worth like 100 grand today. So anyway, guys, that is huge. Going through and planning your day, planning your week, making sure you've got a specific um, checklist of to-dos and things that you know that you need to make happen and then just focus on those until they're done and then if you like get to one task and you can't like there's something that's keeping you from completing it maybe you're waiting on somebody else okay do as much as you can and then once you have as much as you can done then you can move on to the next task okay so you're not bouncing around jumping task switching doing all that crazy stuff all right so this one guys number four this is one that I personally just because of that story I shared with you at the very beginning of the video with with my uncle in the past and growing up and this is one I've like actually had to really learn and refine over the last 18 months two years I've been married for about two and a half years now and before I was married I would go through and I was kind of like that typical entrepreneur that you know you always heard about like was working so late was waking up early working and honestly because I didn't have a lot big of a social life and it didn't really matter so like if I worked late in the evening didn't really matter if we worked on evenings all that stuff but then once I got married it was a little bit harder because you know my wife she would come home from work and she'd like want to spend time with me and all that and like I, I would be like oh well, I gotta work and I just had this mindset that like oh I always had to be working right and so um, even like if I, I stopped working I would still like if I there was like kind of a dull moment not not a dull moment but like if, if there wasn't something going on like it was a commercial on a TV show or watching or whatever I check my email and I'd, I'd hit refresh on the email or something like that and if I saw something that was like bad news or something that came up I'd either like want to jump on it right away or it would completely change my mood for the rest of the night right so number four guys this is key to be having just like more of a quality life of spending time with your family and friends that is completely just shutting off when it's time to shut off like leave work at work and leave home and family and personal stuff um, at home right so with that said once you're done working like maybe you've got a Monday through Friday schedule okay once you're done on Friday and guys you can make all the excuses you want that I'm an entrepreneur and I got to work seven days a week or whatever if you just get the mindset that I'm gonna be working a Monday through Friday and you're gonna get everything you need to get done during that time you can just have Saturday and Sunday completely off so now and it's taken I'm not saying this is an overnight success it's taken a long time and I've even still work on it day in and day out but Saturday and Sunday I don't check my emails I don't check my Facebook sometimes I'll check my Facebook ads just to make sure that I'm not blowing a ton of money right um, and sometimes I'll check how much money I'm making each day because that's just kind of fun right but as far as work goes as far as customer support as far as problems go anything that comes up anything that arises it can wait till Monday right so if you're spending time with your family with your friends be there be present okay have a good time and that same thing goes not only for weekends but the end of the day like if you finish working at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. whatever time just completely shut off at the dinner table be at the dinner table if you're gonna go out just go out and have fun just just completely shut off all work stuff and just focus on having fun being in the moment being present with your friends your family with whoever you're with and I promise you you're gonna have a lot happier more fulfilled more engaged life okay guys so number five here and I hope you guys have enjoyed the first four and hopefully that you guys kind of maybe taken notes or something like that to um, start to implement these into your lives because I promise you guys these will make a huge difference they made a massive difference in my life and number five is engaging in leveraged activities okay now let me explain that because you're probably like what the heck does that even mean right so about two two and a half years ago before I like actually started really making money like I was making a little bit of money but it was nothing nothing to even like tell anybody about right what I was doing was I was I was focusing a little bit of my efforts on like online marketing stuff but then I was focusing on okay I would go in and I like sit down with like a, a client and I do my sales pitch on what I've got and I would just be jumping around all these different clients here so I live in Utah so I'd be going and visiting all these different clients and sometimes it would I mean it would take up so much time sometimes I had to drive an hour to their office an hour back home and sometimes only be there for 20 to 30 minutes and so right there that's like two and a half hours and then I had some clients 
man, or potential clients, I guess, that I was going through and I was going through the whole sales process and everything and it would take like six to eight months to close the deal and they'd be leading me on like they're so interested and then in like the last hour, they'd be like, ah, no, we're good. So I spent like six months with them and then I, it was just like complete waste of time in the sense because like I, I wasn't closing the deal, I wasn't making any money from it, right? Then I even had some people were like, contracts were signed and they, they're just like, they blew it off and they're like, oh, well, we're, we're not really actually gonna do it and we're not gonna pay you and we're not gonna do anything and I, like, I've already done so much work for them. And so once I kind of like started to focus on what really worked in leveraged activities, so when I'm talking about leveraged activities, making this YouTube video right here, this is a leveraged activity. I spend 15, 20 minutes shooting the video, maybe 30 minutes editing and getting to upload and all that stuff and then has a possibility of have being viewed by hundreds or even thousands of people, right? And so thousands of people can see this exact message, which is super powerful. Or I go through and I send out an email to my email list and I'm able to get in touch with thousands and tens of thousands of people as opposed to going through and every single day like going into somebody's office, which I get it, I know there's gonna be some people on there like, well that's like in person, knee to knee, belly to belly, all that stuff is like way better than sending off an email and I get it and I 100% agree. However, there's some leverage activities that you can go through and do to simplify your life. Okay, and once I kind of started learning that, as far as like the leverage activities and techniques where I'll go through and I'll do a webinar and I'll have a few hundred people on that webinar, okay, and I do that just once a week, as opposed to going through and doing one-on-one -on -one 20 minute, 30 minute demos, okay, I'm able to go through and get 300, in essence, custom presentations of our products, our services, out to like, you know, a few hundred people, as opposed to like, I would never even be able to have the amount of time in a week to be able to go through and do 300 presentations and sales demos, right? So, um, going through and focusing on the, these, this content that one can be leveraged for a lot of people and things like a video or you know getting ranked on on Google that not only is going to benefit me today or our company our business but it's going to benefit long term like 6 months a year 2 years from now right so focus on those leverage activities and i remember once i kind of started getting this stuff down it was very hard uh, like in the very beginning this is about 2 years ago cuz i started making some money with webinars but i would i was only making like 10 15 maybe $20,000 a month which was great, but obviously you've got business expenses, so that's not all 100% profit, right? And uh, I remember I had people that would you know, say, hey, I've got this contact here, or I've got this referral there, or you should meet with this person um, in this city or whatever, and so they'd be referring me all this business, but in my experience, like going in, and it might just be because I wasn't good at in-person sales presentation, that could be very well the case, which I'm sure I'm probably not that great, um, but I just knew that that hadn't really worked out well for me and it wasn't very scalable or leveraged time spent. Okay, so now the core things I focus on in my business is every single week I make sure that I'm gonna do a live webinar. Okay, because I can get a few hundred people on that sales presentation. It's a uh, it's great ROI for our business. It's able to expose a lot more people to our products or services, letting them know how that we can help them. I second thing is I make sure I go through and I'm consistently shooting YouTube videos because that's something that we I can you know help teach a lot more people people are able to go through and get indoctrinated on our content and then I also make sure that I'm I'm emailing out my email list right so I'm educating them I'm informing them on new updates new things that um, things that I can help them out with or different products or promos or offers different things like that because this way I mean, those are very basic, simple things, and obviously there's a lot of other things that, that I need to do in our business, but focusing on those core things consistently has helped um, the business grow and focusing on those leverage efforts and leverage activities that we've got going on. Okay guys, so just a quick recap of the five tips of what has helped me go through and consistently make over $150,000 per month and working less than 30 hours per week. Sometimes I just completely take Fridays off, um, not too often, but when I do, when I'm, when I'm gonna go through and have like a little family vacation, but that is going through and batching your time. 
okay? Don't go spend too much time on things that you don't really need to spend that time on, okay? Number two, zoning out, shutting everything down, shutting all notifications out and, sh and focusing 100% on what you need to focus on. Number three is planning your day and your week before it happens so that at the start of your day or before you go through and zone out, you know exactly what you need to go through and make happen. You've got the checklist down, you can go cross things off because once you cross things off, it really feels good to cross those things off and you're able to go through and make those things happen. Number four, go through and completely shut off when you are not working. Don't be checking your phone, don't be checking other things. Enjoy your weekend, enjoy your evenings, enjoy your time with your family and your friends and, and don't just be that annoying person that, that nobody really wants to be around because they're always just focused on work and business and it's just like, it's just not fun, all right? And then number five, focus on the leverage activities. Think about what you can do in your business that are leverage activities. Now, you know, a lot of, a lot of people I work with um, are real estate agents, real estate brokers and you know, when you talk about leverage activities, that's a great thing about Facebook ads and lead generation is that Facebook ads is a leveraged activity, right? Like you go create the ad once, you put money behind it, and then Facebook, they're showing it to all these different people. And then you've got the landing page, you've got the email, the text marketing follow up, all this stuff in place, that that is leveraged activity because that is all done through technology, it's all done on autopilot. So you're not having to go through and spending all this time doing cold calls, spending all this time door knocking, spending all this time doing all these other prospecting methods that you know they might work a little bit, but you're really trading time for dollars, right? So it, it's it's not the best method out there. So anyway, guys, hopefully these five different tips and hacks that I've really found to be super successful in my life have helped you guys. Once again, if you guys think it would be helpful to kind of see my daily schedule, my activities, everything that I do on a daily basis, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys just found it helpful, I'd also appreciate a good thumbs up because it allows more people to kind of get these tips and be exposed to this and see like what's worked for me and hopefully it can go through and work for you. And then also drop a comment down below and I will share with you my, my daily schedule of kind of like what I do pretty much every single day. Um, I eat a lot of times the same exact things every single day so I don't even have to think about it, right? So I'm not thinking about like, oh, where am I gonna go to lunch today? Because that takes brain power, that takes energy, or what, what am I like gonna make or cook or whatever. I literally eat like the same four to five things every single day. And it just makes it super simple when it, go, when it comes time to eat and when it comes time to go into the grocery store. So simplify so much and uh, anyway guys, hopefully these tips and everything was helpful. You guys are brand new here. My name is Jason Wardrop and I launch new videos every single week on how to generate more leads, make more money and grow your business and these are some really important tips and hacks of, to go through and implement into your business to start growing your, your business, growing your brand, growing your wealth and with that said guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all later.